Find three positive numbers whose sum is 100 and whose product is a maximum. So the three numbers, x plus y plus z, must add up to be equal to 100. And we want to maximize the function f of x, y, which will be equal to the product of x times y times z, which we can rewrite as 100 minus x minus y. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 100y minus 2xy minus y squared. And the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 100x minus x squared minus 2xy. So now we want to get the double partial derivatives. So the double partial derivative of f with respect to x twice is equal to negative 2y. The double partial derivative of f with respect to x, y is equal to 100 minus 2x minus 2y. And the double partial derivative of f with respect to y twice is equal to negative 2x. Then, setting the partial derivative of f with respect to x equal to 0, this implies that y is equal to 0, or 100 minus 2x. For the y equals 0 case, we get x equals 0, or x equals 100. For the y equal to 100 minus 2x case, we get 3x squared. minus 100x is equal to 0. And this gives us that x is equal to 0, or 100 divided by 3. Thus, the critical points are 0, 0, one hundred zero zero one hundred and one hundred divided by three one hundred divided by three so now we want to do the second derivatives test to see what kind of critical points these are. So the test on 0, 0 is equal to the test on 100, 0, which is equal to 
the test on 0, 100. And all these are equal to negative 10,000. While the test on the point 100 over 3 100 over 3 is equal to 10,000 divided by 3. And the double derivative of f with respect to x twice of the point 100 divided by 3 and 100 divided by 3 is equal to negative 200 divided by 3 which is less than 0. Thus, 0, 0 100, 0 and 0, 100 are all saddle points and the point 100 divided by 3 100 divided by 3 is the local maximum. Thus, the three numbers are x equals y equals z and are all equal to 100 divided by 3.